Anyway, Pam, thanks again for letting us stay with you for a few days. Letting you stay? I, you guys practically threatened to kill me last night. I feel more like a hostage than a, you know, than a oh, person that's inviting you. Oh, come on. Get over yourself. We didn't threaten to kill you. We threatened to kill you and your family. Oh, Jeez. well. That, that's so much and better. Look, Morton, I told you that you could take photos. You could sell the story to the tabloids. You know, the weekend I was kidnapped by Hollywood celebrities. I tried selling the story, but the tabloids thought that it would be better if you guys were from the Russian government or something, rather than, you know, Bollywood. So, I mean, why did you need a place to stay, anyway? One of our neighbors had a ghost problem. And rather than going through the proper channels, she contacted an exorcist who performed an exorcism on the entire building, and he drove out all the evil spirits. Like me and Mort. I've often bemoaned having a homeowners association, but you know, it does keep shit like that from happening. Hmm. By the way, uh, Mort, what is this crap you're watching? Oh, it's my favorite cartoon show. They have a marathon of it. Well, looks really gay to me. What are you talking about? I mean, that's he, she, and the Gaylords of the universe. There is nothing gay about it. Oh, of course not. I mean, there's Prince Madam, and when he raises his sword, he becomes Hishi, the fiercest drag queen in the galaxy. Oh no, there's nothing gay about that. And there's his ultimate arch nemesis, the evil Count Bonerhead. Bonerhead? Oh, brother. Well, I had to go pick up some Centrum from the pharmacy for my father. Why? Uh, because he never gets any sun. I mean, he never goes out during the day, so he has a major vitamin D or vitamin C deficiency. I mean, why do you think he's always sucking blood uh, all the time? Because he's a vampire, dumbass. Well, Centrum couldn't hurt. Or am I supposed to get him Centrum Silver? Because he is over 500 years old. Doesn't silver uh, kill vampires or something? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I think in some folk tales it causes some minor skin irritation or something. I don't know. But it does kill werewolves. Three silver bullets through the heart. Well, that used to be the case, yes. But luckily my insurance through uh, Werewolves Anonymous right. now covers heart transplants. I can't tell you how many hearts I've gone through. In fact, right now, I have a squirrel heart. So, dressed like that? Where are you what? going? Um, I have a date. Remember, I'm going to the movies tonight with that actress I met at my last audition. You gonna eat out of the garbage and take it to the back alley? You're dressed like Olvo. <sighs> it's it's a modern look. I, I'm a hipster. Uh, not uh, a freaking disgusting hipster. Uh, ain't you forgetting something? Oh, oh no, I never wear underwear because you know. No 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 no. no. Uh, rag with chloroform. I never go out without it. <sighs> Mart. That is extremely 1970s. Uh, I mean, that is just not cool Oh, anymore. great. Is you going to wear one of them pussy hats now? I was actually a male feminist before that was actually a thing. Because 
my October the 13th film franchise was very progressive for it. Uh, how so? Because I killed and ate virgins and tourists indiscriminately. Well, both those taste just like chicken. Am I right? Am I in the bullpark? Uh, this movie is so, it, it, it's so typical of women, you know? Oh my god, he's dreamy. He's an inventor, and he's creative, and he sings like Pavarotti, and he's giving me voice lessons so I can be the next Charlotte Church. And now he lives in a sewer and has no nose. I can't handle it. I'm gonna take the handsome V Compt instead! <laughs> Bitch! Can you imagine if he sneezed? Yeah. <sighs> so, <clears throat> did you get cast in the play? Well, being cast wasn't so much as a goal <laughs> as, uh. No. You? Well,. You know, I haven't had that much luck. I've kind of been pigeonholed in one role for a long time now. Me too. Unemployed. I used to be a stand-in for, well, I don't know if you've heard of, uh, heard of this person. Shaddy De Rapelli? That evil leprechaun that was in a bunch of those stupid horror movies that went direct to DVD? <laughs> yes, I am familiar with her work. One time I was standing in for her and <laughs> I began I began talking in an Irish accent. <laughs> well, that could not have been good. Despite her playing a leprechaun for over 20 years, she apparently couldn't do an Irish accent. <laughs> Can you imagine a little leprechaun not being able to do an Irish accent? Oh my god, that's like being the Kevin Costner of the horror movie world. Well, she couldn't do one to save her life. <laughs> anyway. The diva didn't like being upstaged, so she cool. attacked me, and I got fired. You're lucky she didn't have her trusty axe with her that day. Oh, she did! Bitch cut off my leg, that's why I have this wooden one right here. <laughs> now that's hot. My agent keeps sending me to auditions for pirate roles. <laughs> Okay, so if Lily Monster took Centrum Silva while Eddie was in utero, it'd be the equivalent of uh, smoking while pregnant? We don't know how Eddie became a werewolf. He probably wasn't born a werewolf, since neither of his parents were werewolves themselves. Maybe he was bit by a werewolf boy on the playground. <laughs> Better than getting polio. Let's not forget the possibility Lily had an affair with Michael Landon while he was in I was a teenage werewolf. Okay, now you're just being silly. I'm not the idiot who started the stupid conversation. So anyway, uh, what, what method do you use? Excuse me, what? Stanislavski, ah, uh, Stella Adler, Meisner technique. What are you talking about? What type of method do you prefer? Well, you're awful forward. What are you doing? I've never had it happen this early on a first date before. Whoa! Whoa! Ooh, ooh, ooh. What? Uh, <clears throat> date? Wait! No, 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 no! I was talking about acting methods and date. What? Wait, you, you. Oh, wait. Uh, um, 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 uh, you, you think this is a date? Um, what did you think it was? I thought we were just chilling and having a, having a girls' night. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed this, but I'm a guy. Oh, well, yeah, but I, uh, I thought... You thought what? Oh, God. What? Oh, God. What? 
<laughs> uh, really, I don't, I, I don't, I, I don't know what to say. I, I thought. You thought what? <laughs> I thought you were gay. What? How could you think that I am gay? <gasps> kind of like that. Ew, you see, I'm being foppish. I mean, that's the way I was written. I am a, f I am a foppish lord. I am a fop. Is that the role that you've been pigeonholing for? It's a role that I originated when I was 19 years old. Now, I haven't done it in a while, but I've been hoping to revive it. Wow. I've never met someone who was so committed to their craft before. It's like Daniel Day-Lewis or Gary Oldman. Those amateurs? <coughs> I never met someone who was so dedicated to their craft before, like I am. Dedicated to your craft? You practice the dark arts? So, would you like to go in the back seat with me now? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but as... Mm. But as much as I admire you, I don't have father issues that I feel like working out with somebody who looks like he's twice my age. Hey, uh, how'd your date go? You guys, uh, go all the way? You mean fourth base? Uh, no. I thought fifth was going all the way, no, though. No, no, Let's see if I can remember how this goes. Uh, first base is kissing. Second base is touching. Third base is sex. Uh, fourth wait, base... Wait, 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 what? Fourth base is slaughter. Killing your date. And fifth base is, uh, eating the dead body. Oh, uh, yeah, right. <laughs> By the way, boy... Pam has some weird shit lying around her house. Check this little number out. What's this? Is this some sort of 1950s office party sex machine? You know, I do believe this might be a precursor to the modern uh, cell phone. Like, I think this is the iPhone 2. Where am I supposed to find my weather and news apps? So do I press one of these? How are you supposed to dial? I mean, yeah. How do you dial? I, th I think I think I think the ABC here is for AOL, and then G GHI. I think over here that's Google. No, you know. What oh. I think, and I think to call somebody. No, no. Look, see. Like, say somebody's number was five five five. Okay. You'd go five, five. Five. No. Oh shit! I hit the four by accident. Oh no! I know. I I know how it works. Hold on a second. I know. I know. No. Here. Here's. Okay. Five. 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 Uh -huh. that's, yes. That's, that's yes. one. That's one. Right. That's one. Okay. Hold on. I'm getting somebody. What? No, I'm not interested in the black market the female organ organ harvesting overseas. Um. You know. It's never too late to start a new career path. Wait a minute. I think I know how to use this. Hold on. There's a number on the bottom of here. Hold on. Look at that. Uh, something else. Hospital. Uh, ooh, ooh. Po, 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 Poison. Poison. Oh, I think we have to call Mr. and Mrs. Poison. Maybe they know how to help us use this thing. No, 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 dude. Obviously, one of these is a speaker of some sort. Maybe it's that one. Yeah, here you go. You have to open it up so you can speak into it. Uh -huh. Hello, hello. And then, obviously, this is like a headset. The receiver. That's the receiver. Yes. Yeah. So you have to open that up so you can hear. Ah. And I think you have to hold this up to your ear to for better reception. Oh, that makes sense. You know what? Oh my god, Mort, this is this is incredible. You can hear the ocean. <laughs> 